In a permeable pavement application, we have a number of different options. If the infiltration rate of the subgrade or the soil is low enough, we may decide to go with increasing its bearing capacity. If we do that, we have a number of options. Our first option is going to be clean stone. Using clean stone over the surface and compacting that in changes its gradation and increases its bearing ability. If we still feel that the gradation amendment wasn't sufficient, we have other options. We can move to a lime stabilization and this is considered a chemical stabilization where in addition to the gradation, this lime worked into the subgrade, not tilled in, but worked in, is going to change the chemical composition, the positive negative attraction of clay particles to water. So we'll give this time to start wicking the moisture, changing that chemical composition. We find that we still haven't increased the bearing capacity sufficiently. We have one yet other option. That's Again, a lime content, but mixed with a type S mortar or Portland cement. Now that's going to give us very low permeability to none. If we had that to begin with, not a big deal. Is it going to give us bearing capacity? Absolutely. Again, spreading about 50 pound bag per 100 square foot of area of uh, agu uh, granular aggregate, lime, or type S mortar mix can solve our problem. Now, if we do have an infiltration rate, like in this situation, we'd rather go with a C33 wash concrete sand. Now, this is a manufactured version of that. No fines, all the particles visible with the naked eye. So what we're going to do on this site is spread about an inch of that material without compaction. That's going to help increase the bearing capacity, increase infiltration rates, and allow that fine particle that's traveling through the permeable pavement to get into the subgrade and not clog it. Now we also have another option, a traditional wash concrete sand like we see here in a yellow tone, same gradation, same particle. In this case we're using a manufactured material as long as it works with C33 we're fine. So again, two options. If you have no infiltration, go to a gradation amendment, Go to a lime stabilization, a type S stabilization, take bearing capacity when you have no infiltration rate. When you do have an infiltration rate and you want to aid that and increase your bearing ability, go with one of the C33 sand options. I think that's what we're going to do today. Let's get going on that sand, fellas.